Hello, nerd. We all are used to seeing Malkador as this overpowered grandpa who could smack Primarchs around like Latina mom smacks her child with a flip-flop. It is no secret that Malkador was one of the strongest human psychers to ever exist. He was a perpetual, someone who could potentially live indefinitely and in time would come back to life if someone ended him. Of course, the way Malkador was killed erased any means of him coming back, yet he was named Malkador the hero because of the sacrifice he made by sitting on the golden throne. We all see him as this uncle of Primarchs, a wise old man with humanity's best interests in mind. But not everyone knows his dark side, like his actual dark side. If you are new to the channel, then every week channel members vote on the topic of the next week's content. And this week, they voted Malkador, which means you will have Malkador the Sigilite videos from Monday to Friday. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss the latest video, join the Discord to show your memes, Consider becoming a member to cast your vote for the next week, and without further ado, let's dig in. There is only war. I think we all can agree that 40k is a place filled with creeps, degenerates, people that never have enough, or people that just want to force their will upon others without giving a shit what everyone else thinks. Looking at you, Emperor. We all know Malkador as the Emperor's best friend forever. They truly shared bro vibes. Heck, Big E even made Malkador into his own demon prince, or something at least similar to that. Well, that's just how my theory goes, but I like to roll with that idea. They shared a brotherly bond of similar ambitions for the human race, and so Malkador has been by the Emperor's side for over 6,000 years. Jagadai Khan, Primarch of the White Scars, allegedly stated that Malkador's true name is Bram al Kador, and that he is a perpetual of immense age, wisdom, and psychic power. He said that Malkador met the Emperor of Mankind prior to the Unification Wars, when the Emperor had yet to claim that title. He was the only Perpetual who didn't leave the Emperor's side. Olenius Pius, Erda, all of the other Perpetuals abandoned the Emperor once they realized his vision, but Malkador never did. He understood the tragic future that awaited humanity, and he agreed that drastic measures are to be taken if humanity will survive in this galaxy. Because of his old age, Malkador has gone through many events with the Emperor, seeing things that would make any ordinary mind go insane. Either they were chaotic in nature, full of blasphemy, genocides, or any other atrocity you could come up with. He probably has seen it all. Don't get me wrong, I respect him. But there are moments when he shows that he's a complete and utter old fart, ignorant of how he might affect other people, or maybe just choosing to be a dick because he is immortal and everyone else would die anyway. We will never know. But the knowledge of the Emperor's secrets and the things he has witnessed turned him into this old type of Second World War vet that couldn't keep his mouth shut about the experiences that gave him PTSD. But the problem is that he couldn't tell anyone about this information, not even his closest friends except for the Emperor, who was busy all the time anyway. In the end, he was a human, perpetual and immensely powerful psyker, but still a human nonetheless. And just like all of us, he still needed someone to talk to, someone to socialize with. It couldn't be just a regular Joe plucked from a bar on the street. It had to be someone he could trust or control, or both, because none of the information he would share could ever be spread around the Imperium. So the burden of listening to the sins of the Sigilite fell upon the shoulders of a man called El Wintor. Just a quick sidestep, his name is a bastard child of a word alleviator, which is basically a therapist that makes suffering more bearable. So El used to be a sanctioned historicist who used to work for the Malkador, recording history of the Imperium and listening to the tales of his superior. Actually, he admired Malkador because he understood that due to his age and close connection to the Emperor, he was a wise and educated man, seeing quite a bit more than any human could in their feeble lifetimes. He ended up becoming friends with Malkador, to the point where Malkador would invite him to look at the collection of the preserved artifacts from the ancient earth he owned. They became something similar to book buddies, where they would discuss poetry, ancient terrace history, even going so far as playing tabletop games together, even having a drink and casual chat. 
Vintor grew to enjoy Malkador's company, and he allowed him to know that. In return, Malkador offered Vintor to become his confidant. For those of you who don't know, a confidant is a person with whom you share secrets and expect them not to snitch on you. Of course, Vintor accepted, not knowing what awaited him. In the beginning, Malkador shared bits and pieces of information that wasn't troubling, but as time went on, he started to share information of his past, secrets of the Imperium, things he had done in the name of humanity that were so deranged that it would make a mortal man cut his ears off. It all got to the point that the conversations became so crazy that Wintour told Malkador that they deeply disturbed him, but Malkador didn't pay no mind to his friend's concerns and kept on sharing his tales in gruesome detail. Malkador started to tell him stories that he told no one else, putting Wintour in deep depression, making him question everything to the point that he started to feel borderline suicidal. He shared with him every dark deed he had done, every known brewing problem in the Imperium, the betrayal that Horus committed, and even the dark nature of the universe and chaos itself. And this wasn't like a one-off event, it became a regular occurrence where Malkador would unload everything he knew onto Vintor's unprotected mind. It got so bad to the point that Vintor couldn't listen anymore, he was trying to do everything he could to escape the Imperial Palace, yet Every time he tried, he was captured and brought back to Malkador to listen to one of his deranged stories again and again. He wanted to end himself, but during one of his attempts to escape, somehow he managed to infiltrate one of the many labs hidden in the Imperial Palace that belonged to Malkador, where he learned even more about the twisted reality of the whole situation. In this lab, he discovered a dead Eldar floating in a tank of liquid meant to preserve its dead body. But that was nothing compared to what he realized. This Eldar had a resemblance to him. This Eldar looked like Wintor. This cracked his mind. He couldn't understand how that was possible. He thought he was going insane and hallucinating. Nothing made sense anymore. It was then when Malkador contacted him via holographic image, telling him not to do anything he would regret later and just to wait for him to arrive and then they could talk through everything he has witnessed. Malkador started to explain. Malkador spoke. Eldari. I found him in the webway, in the under spaces beneath what you would think of as the Imperial Palace now. That was a long time ago. He was still alive then, but his essence, his soul, if you will, was blighted and fading. But you know me, dear friend. I'm never one to waste a resource. Why does it look like me? shouted Vintor. Malkador made a turning motion with his fingers. You have it backwards. Fate mocks us, I think. Because you chose this moment, this exact day to break. Not a week ago, not tomorrow when it would not matter. But today, hmm. If things were different, I could explain it all to you carefully delicately, but Horus's clock has robbed me of any grace in this. Do you remember where you were born, El? Do you recall the names of your parents, your siblings, the place where you grew up? El reached for the memory and found only sand, nothing but the shape of what should have been there, an empty vessel that should have contained a man's past. Malkador continued. Those things do not exist. That is why you never dwell on them or speak of them. Your mind has been conditioned not to think too hard about the history you never had. It took a long time to understand the structure of their genetic material, but adaptation was possible. He was dying when I discovered him, you understand? But even in those moments I realized what kind of being I had found. A kindred spirit, something nigh immortal, with an intellect I could actually spar with. So few can match me. Can you blame me for wanting someone to talk to, a confidant to keep me sane? Wintour's mood rebounded towards giddy anger. I am sick of your needlessly complex games. There are no lies in this place. We have no time for them. I made you so I would have a voice that was not an echo of my own. Strip the alien from that corpse, 
merged it with something more akin to man. And you have been that for a long time, Al. A good friend. Haven't we been good friends? Vintor screamed. I don't want to hear your voice anymore. Why did you keep telling me things? All the secrets and horrible truths about this war and all the ones to come afterwards. Why confess them to me? I don't want the burden. I can't contain them. I know, said Malkador. And that is why you killed yourself so many times. Hundreds of you. Seeking death rather than live with what I told them. Another secret I kept. Oof, this puts a massive twist on the old man. I mean, I know Malkador was dark, but not this dark. To create a clone hybrid of human and Eldar, knowing too well that it would kill itself and doing it hundreds of times, that is just beyond dark. Either way, let me know what you think of the Sigilite now. It's not like I like him less for it. In actuality, I think I like him even more now. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Tomorrow we will continue with the week of Malkador, so make sure to tune in again by pressing subscribe button and then the bell icon so you would get a notification about my latest upload. Remember to join the discord to post your memes and if you really want to support me then consider becoming a member by clicking on the join button right below the video title. By having member status you will get a badge next to your name and you will be able to vote what weekly content I put out. And with that in mind I'll see you next time. Nerd.